Hello. Oh, this is live. Let me check the group first. Ah. Seven two. Ano ba? So let's have item number fifty one. You guys comment. Ano ang sinagot nyo? So she hadn't eaten all day, and by the time she got home, she was blighted, conf confutative, ravenous, instantaneous, or blissful. Comment your answers. Ano ba yung mga sagot nyo? Mga magagandang nila lang. Okay. So comment your answers. Ano ba yung sinagot nyo? Uh, we, we are down to item number uh, 51. Okay, let me see. So blighted. May sumagot ng blighted. Okay, some are also answering letter B. What about the others? So let us practice your thinking. Ah, all right. Ay, no, wala. Okay. Sorry, sir. I'm so sorry. Uh, in the office, kasi I have two monitors, so much better sana yun. But here, I only have one. And I, I have to, yeah, check the live. I have to check the answer key, kung tama na ba yung pinagsasabi ko. All right. So, let me see. Some are answering. Wala nang sumasagot ng letter C. Okay, some have. How about uh, letter D? And, of course... Letter E. So I think in the exam until letter E then yung sino na nakatake ng civil service dati? Is it A to D lang or A to E? Usually kasi in the other exams, yung letter E, it's always none of the above. So I'm just wondering if it's the same case with the civil service. Hello, good evening to those who just entered. So yeah, welcome, welcome. I will be having a short review. So I am now discussing your pre-final exam, so we will be focusing on vocabularies today. Okay, meron din konting reading comprehension, and of course, I think Filipino items. Um, mostly are idioms, so we will see. Okay, so let me check. All right, so the answer is, oh, merong nakatake na ng civil service. Oh, Ma'am Amy is here, hello? Okay, so here, she hadn't eaten all day. Again, to answer a vocabulary, importante na alam natin yung context clues, okay? So, she hadn't eaten all day. Ibig sabihin, sobrang gutom na niya. So, now, uh, what is the word that is synonymous for hungry? So, of course, alam natin na hungry is gutom. There was another term na nakalimutan ko. A famished, famished. Famished also means very hungry. So, if we say blighted, uh, it is, ano kasi, blight or blight fool. Here, um, it's really negative. It's something damaging. So here, obviously, it's not very damaging. Talagang nagutom lang siya. If you say confutative, so parang questionable, right? So kaya nga, we are confused, right? So if we relate the words confutative, it's confu or it's confusing, it's questionable. So pwede siyang i-deny, pwede i-contradict, it's not certain. Okay. If you say ostentatious naman, this, this is like um, pretentious, okay? Or parang medyo showy. If you say blissful, actually we can remove that one first kasi... Um, so blissful is a positive word, diba? It means happy, joyful. So, you know, in the state of euphoria, yung blissful. So obviously, it's not the right one when you are hungry. So our correct answer is, yes, it's ravenous, letter C. Ravenous, letter C. So yung very, sobra na yung pagkagusto niyang kumain. Okay. So ravenous. So for example, we will say um, they found a ravenous snake eating the entire chicken. So ibig sabihin sobrang greedy na ng snake sa pagkain. So our correct answer is ravenous. Okay, let's move on to number 50. Yes, to those who got the correct answer, that's it. So let's move on with number 52. Comment, what did you answer this time? The movie offended many of the parents of its younger viewers by including a necessary blank in the dialogue. So, 
Is it vulgarity, verbosity, vocalizations, garishness, or tonality? By the way, I have noticed the live has been running for two hours. Kaya pala, meron ng maraming tao. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so this is a continuation. <gasps> Nasaan ba ang aking utak? I am so sorry. <laughs> anyway, comment your answer. So... Again, context clue. Anong context natin dyan? It's, or anong context clue natin dyan? It's the word offensive, okay? So, ibig sabihin, it must be a bit very negative. So, what do you think is the correct answer? So, kanina pa pala kayo nag-re-review. Wow, guys, I am. Um, so, yeah, bilib na bilib ako sa inyo. I know it's not easy. <laughs> Kapag nasa-stress kasi yung utang natin, yan yung isa sa nakakapagod siya. Because, kasi kapag yung, ano ba, because pa kasi kapag pa, kapag yung katawan natin yung napagod, pwede mo lang ipahinga, imunam ka ng tubig, matulog, right? But if it's your mind that is tired, wala na talaga. Okay? Like, the entirety of your being is talagang mapapagod rin. So, kanina pa kayo, nagre-review, oh my goodness. Good for you. <laughs> Ako since ilang weeks na, <laughs> hindi ko na kaya. <laughs> All right, so comment your answers. Okay, I am seeing some who are chatting. The correct answer. Wow. All right. So, uh, okay. Kakapasok ko lang. Ah, okay, that's okay. So, two, three hours na yung live actually. I think you have another subject earlier, no? So, anyway, um, here offended many parents. Kasi, from the word offended and unnecessary. So, our correct answer is, of course, letter A. So, may na comment na vulgarity, tactfulness, careless. So, if you say vulgar, it means gross, you know, parang, yeah, it's, it's a bit rude, no? Hindi siya, hindi na siya magandang pakinggan or magandang tingnan. It's it's um, offensive. Kaya nga, di ba, like, in the movies, if if yung mga bata magjo-joke, so sasabihin ng parents, how vulgar? So it's inappropriate, okay? So our answer is vulgarity. So ano ba yung verbosity? So, um, verb, verbal kasi, if you say verbal kasi, it's about, you know, the way you speak. So, verbosity, it's also a noun, and yung kung gaanong karaming words na ginamit mo. Okay? From the word verbose, right? So, it's also not, kasi hindi naman to negative talaga, all throughout. We also have uh, option C, that is vocalization. So, we can cut it short to the word vocalize. It means you are producing sound. We have this quite unfamiliar word, which is garishness. It means it's too bright or showy, okay? Parang flashy. For example, if um, if you are wearing something neon, so it's too flashy, diba? If your car is neon, so it's showing an act of garishness. Sobrang yeah, masakit sa mata. <laughs> and of course, tonality, it is, um, para itong mode, eh, di ba? So parang mode, like, um, usually, it is like, ano yung tone in a specific setting, okay? So it's also not negative. Kaya, if we're able to identify the context clue, yung negative word lang dito is yung vulgarity or vulgar, which is offensive and, and unnecessary. So that is our correct answer, okay? Next one. Yes, good evening. I hope kumain na kayo. Oh, thank you so much, Sir. <laughs> Kanina pa kami <laughs> nagkausap ni Sir Kirk. Oh my gosh. Anyway, so let's have 53. Let me see. Um, His neighbors found his... Hindi ko mahanap yung live. His neighbors found his blank manner bossy and irritating. And they stopped inviting him to backyard barbecues. Oy. Is it insentient, magisterial, rep reparatory, okay, sorry, restorative, and modest? So comment your answers. So I think context clue natin dyan is 
you know, itong bossy and irritating. Wow, sobrang sakit naman. But anyway, what do you think is the correct answer? Comment your answers. So is it A, B, C, D, or E? Mm -hmm. So I think this will not be a very long discussion unlike the previous weeks that you had your intensive discussions talaga. Here, it's just, yeah, para tayong, well, like, ang final words na lang. Kasi, it will be this, malapit na yung exam nyo, right? Kamusta naman kayo? <laughs> okay naman? Ready na ba? Just make sure that you don't forget. Um, yung sister ko kasi, so isang tip niya lang tag talaga when taking an exam, it's huwag kang tatanga-tanga. So you don't forget things, you prepare them beforehand para wala ka na masyadong isipin. Okay, so anyway, which of these can we eliminate first? We will start with, I think, um, ano, modest, right? We can remove modest. Okay, ah, oh, all right. So, lumalaban. <laughs> okay. So, here, kasi dito, bossy and irritating. Diba? So, yung modest, hindi naman yata. Masyado. Modest means humble. If you say restorative from the word restore, so, naging adjective, sure, it can also be a noun na you are able to restore or kapag, if you use it as an adjective naman, it's one's ability to restore. No? Ano bang pwedeng i-restore natin? Of course, our health, um, emotional well-being ng person, you can restore it, rest restorative. So, it's not also the answer, modest and restorative. Ano pa ba yung ibang options? Okay, we have the reparatory. So, it is re in relation to the word repair repair or reparation you know so ito yung when you're making amends you know especially your forgiveness talaga it's very reparatory right so it cures things all right so of course it's not the answer to kasi hindi naman siya negative now of course we have the words so we are left with b and a what do we mean by magisterial it means um yung mga tao talagang authoritative ba yung tawag doon? Authoritative. So, you show a great authority. Or, in other words, bossy. Some people are just like that, right? Yung talagang feeling nila, oh, ikaw, ikaw, yung, lalo na yung mga ma, sobrang hilig mag-utos. So, that's magisterial, bossy. Or, yeah, authoritative. Yung, sila yung nag-handle sa lahat. Kasi, like, I don't know, basta lumaki ako sa hirap. <laughs> Until na, mahirap pa rin naman. But we are so... Ah, really? Full load na memory. <laughs> okay, so that's magisterial is our answer, okay? If you say naman yung item or yung letter A, insentient, it's incapable. So sabi dito, um, this person does not have the ability to feel things or understand things so for example yung mga non-living things they are insentient diba? wala silang feeling okay walang feeling hindi makaramdam so walang perception uh, so i'm not sure maybe i, I think animals are not insentient naman. they can feel okay so anyway let's proceed with kasi nag overload na, na yung information i feel you it's fine it's fine it's fine and again, you don't have to take note of everything. You just listen, okay? All right, so let's proceed with, okay, number 54. So Stephen is always blank about showing up, is always blank about showing up for work because he feels that tardiness is a sign of irresponsibility. Is it legible, tolerable, punctual, literal, or belligerent? Comment your answers. Mm hmm Ah, yeah, I think this is. Kasi, 
here he feels that tardiness is a sign of irresponsibility. So meaning, ayaw niya. Ibig sabihin, oh, Sir Kirk, can you change? Yes po, don't worry. Kasi hindi po kasi ako nag-handle ng PPT. Can you change? Can you control A tapos change everything to black? Is that possible? Kaya ba? Thank you so much. Ay, nako, hindi pwede. <laughs> okay, so... Alright, thank you so much. Okay, now we are enabling. Okay, okay na. So it's okay, control A mo na lang lahat, sir, para... I-block muna natin kasi I, I don't think na nakikita nila na maayos. Alright, thank you so much. I think number 54 tayo. Thank you. Sorry na. <laughs> so thank you so much, Sir Kirk. So, asa na yun? Okay, number four. So dito yung ating... Alright. Ang ating answer is, kasi nga ayaw niya na laging nalilate, me too. Siyempre, sino bang gusto ng laging nalilate? So, it's punctual, okay? So, Stephen is always punctual about showing up for work. So, the rest, okay, does not relate to, okay, the, wow, sasabi nila klaro na daw. Okay, that's good. So we have here one. Um, the thing is, kasi baka nag information overload na kayo, overload na kayo as you are saying. Um, I will not just explain all the other options, okay? If may mahirap man, I will try to look up to it and will also explain if there is an unfamiliar word. So hindi ko na lang explain lahat, okay? So if you say belligerent, jam it is aggressive, okay? It is aggressive. So for example, sa sabihin ko. A hungry, belligerent wolf. So, sobrang agresibo. That is belligerent. Okay? So, the rest, I think, are understandable. And the answer, number 54, is letter C. Now, let's proceed with number 55. Candace would blank her little sister into an argument by teasing her and calling her names. Is it advocate, provokes, perforates, lament, or expunges. Comment your answer. Oh, he he. I think, yeah, it's naklaro na ngayon. Okay, so correct answer natin is, so the thing here is, lagi niyang tinutukso yung kapatid niya, baby sister niya, hanggang sa magalit. So that is okay, exactly. Correct answer natin is provoke. So ibig sabihin ng provoke, you are, you are trying to, ano ba, you're, you're trying to, yeah, push a person to reach, to reach their edge. So, kapag na-provoke mo yung isang tao, ibig sabihin na dumating na sila sa boiling point. Okay? And you keep adding on to the factor na talagang nagagalit na siya. At nandito na nga yung aso ulit. Alright. So, our correct answer is provoke. So, we have unfamiliar words here, such as letter C, D, and E. If you say perforate, you make holes. Okay? So, you make holes. So, for example... Ano ba? There is this thing. Ano bang tawag nung para material na it, it makes holes. So, yeah. Perforated. Perforated. So, ibig sabihin, it has holes. Okay? May mga... <laughs> oh, ano bang English? Ano bang tagalog na holes? Yeah, may mga holes sila. Anyway, that's too much. So, lament, it is sobrang lungkot. Okay? Or you are mourning. You are mourning. So, for example, sasabihin kong, I, I, had, and I had a daily lament over my dog's passing. I have a daily lament over my dog's passing. So, I have a daily mourning. So, extreme na pagpapakita ng kalungkutan, that's lament, okay? And expunge naman, it means you remove or erase something completely. So, for example, I will say, um, yeah, the okay. My my grandmother expunged a memory from 
her past. So, erase or remove completely, okay? So, dito kapag na-reach mo na yung, na-reach mo na yung boiling point ng tao, you're provoking them. Butas! Oo nga, at saka puncher. Thank you so much, guys! I love you all! So, that is, okay. So, adjective niya, it's perforated, okay? All right, butas ka pala. Ano ba? So anyway, let's proceed with number 56. The story's bitter antagonist felt such great blank for all the all the other characters that as a result, his life was very lonely and he died alone. So first, let's look at the feeling ng sentence. It is very sad. So, which do you think is the answer? Comment, comment, comment. Okay, he died alone. Kalungkot naman ng buhay. Kaya nga, no man is an island. Diba? At some points, we need people to talk with. I'm not saying na malungkot maging mag-isa. But not, not for the rest of our lives naman. Okay, so... Answer natin is, oh, I think this, this might be an easy one for all of you. Okay, so it's correct. Malevolence. The story's bitter antagonist felt such great malevolence. So, ibig sabihin, uh, this person has a lot of hatred or hate or spite. Okay. Or ano pa ba? Um, yeah, basta, like, it's the point of cruelty. Yeah, with the other characters. Okay, as a result, he died alone he died very lonely so if you say insurgents kasi it's para siyang something is ano ba tawag dun? rising okay fine i'll just use rising oh yeah increasing opposite to decrease so and like an increase okay an insurgent so for example sa sabihin ko um because of the, the because of covid there has been an insurgence of vaccines so diba? it's it's a huge increase na paglabas ng mga vaccines so that's insurgence okay if you say malevolence it's hatred all right so correct answer that the number 56 is letter b i think wala pa kayong mali congratulations next it is difficult to believe that charging 20 percent on an outstanding credit card balance isn't blank is it bankruptcy a jury novice Kleptomania or flagrancy? Comment your answers. So some words are not very common. But anyway, I think you took this exam already. Ano ba yung sinagot niyo? Again, good evening. Happy. It's Wednesday ngayon, right? Okay. Very well. Comment your answers. Okay, that one too. You already know. Oh my gosh, good for you. Ah. So another live, sobrang, I'm looking at the credentials of the other lecturers. They're really cool. Yung isa, it's a doctor, right? Ah, oh, that's really nice. Okay, so. The correct answer natin is. Let me see. Okay, you're all answering it, right? It's a jury. A jury, okay? So if you say a jury. It is yung sobra naman yung patong mo. Okay? I feel like I'm saying this one incorrectly. <laughs> okay. Usury pala. Okay. So, yung sobra naman yung patong mo. That is usury. Tawag dyan. Okay? Kasi yung iba naman, um, I'm quite familiar with ano ba yung mga finance company. So, most of their interests are just 1%, 2%, Pero sasabihin mo na you're charging 20%. That is, of course, usury, okay? So, kapag nangutang ka ng 100, dapat bukas, 120 na yung ibabayad mo. That sobra naman. That's usury, okay? If you say bankruptcy, okay, we're familiar with that one. Kapag novice, guys, it, you can, same sounding mo siya sa salitang newbie, okay? Or beginner. Beginner, okay? So, for example, we will say, a novice cashier is quite slow at her work. 
Kasi baguhan pa siya, okay? Of course, the rest, clitomania, this is, I think the act of stealing, tama ba? Clitomania, I think sakit. Oh, wait, 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 let me check. I've heard this one. Like, we have this in psych psychology. Clitomania. Yeah, okay, 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 okay. So, yeah, the act of, or para siya mental health disorder na they cannot stop themselves from stealing, right? Okay. So anyway, correct answer natin is usury, okay? Wow, may nice sabi ng new group. Or rookie. Yung novice is also a rookie. All right. Yes, Mom Annalyn, tama. Anyway, let's proceed with number 58. The blank weather patterns. Napakadadami ko talaga. 58 pa lang tayo, tapos 28 minutes na yung... Dumaan. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. The blank weather patterns of the tropical island meant tourists had to carry both umbrellas and sunglasses. Is it impertinent, supplicant, preeminent, illustrative, or kaleidoscopic? Oh, ganda ng words. Comment your answers. Comment your answers. So, ibig sabihin dito is we have to bring Okay, kasi yung umbrella, it's applicable naman kapag mainit. Let's just say, you have to bring a uh, raincoat and sunglasses para mas obvious talaga. So it means... Okay, very well. Correct answer natin is... Sobrang sikat nga ng kantang to eh. <laughs> Was it Francis M? All right. So, mm, there you have it. Nakuha na yung tamang sagot. Okay, it's letter... Hanggang what letter? Man? It's letter E. It's letter E. Okay? So, it means... Kapag sabihin natin, uh, kaleidoscopic, it means it's constantly changing. Okay, sobrang... Not const yeah, yeah, constantly changing, like most of the time. Hindi siya certain, right? So, of course, the Philippines, I think, is a tropical country. So, paminsan minsan umulan, minsan naman sobrang init. So, kaya nga, like all the time, Filipinos have their umbrellas with them, just in case it rains or it's sunny, the ba? So, kaleidoscope, kaleidoscopic weather patterns. Ano bang ibig sabihin ng impertinent? It means you are also rude, okay? Rude or hindi ka, yeah, hindi ka masyadong, you know, you're, you're not good with people. Masyadong impolite. Some people are like that, impertinent. Hindi ka nagpapakita ng respeto, okay? If you say supplicant, it's, um, because, you, you know, supplicant, we can relate it from the word supply. So, supplicant is the way you ask so much okay supplicant so another word nya is ano ba like when we're praying we are all very yeah talagang supplicant tayo it's because you know we ask so much we promise so much lord bigyan mo ako ng jowa ganito 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 promise maging mabait ako that's yeah of course we have another one which is preeminent so you are the greatest ikaw yung pinaka the best Okay, so kaya nga sasabihin natin, um, in this company, he is the preeminent employee. So you are the best, you are the leading, okay? So the correct answer is, okay, asa na yun? Kaleidoscopic, constantly changing. Right, now let's proceed with number 59. Wedding ceremonies often include the exchange of blank, Rings to symbolize the couple's promises to each other. Is it hirsute, acrimonious, acrimonious, okay, plaintive, decidious, or votive? Comment your answers. Grabe to mga words nito, no? Letter A, I've never met that one. Let me see. Hair, hair suit. Her suit. Ah, oh my gosh, nakakatuwa pa pa yung meaning. All right, so anyway, comment your answers, everyone. Mm -mm. 
Okay, there you go. So everyone, <laughs> okay. Kung makasagot tayong lahat, parang kinasal na tayo, no? All right. So let's have it. Um, of course, we can remove yung hair suit pala. It's like very hairy. <laughs> That's funny. Very hairy. Okay. So for example, sa sabihin natin, um, ano ba? Yeah, the bear has hair suit chest. Okay, so it's a hairy chest area, okay? If you say acrimonious naman, this is uh, not a very common word. So it's like um, you in a very angry way, you are debating. Again, you are, you are debating in a very angry way, okay? Or in a bitter way. So for example, um, sasabihin natin, my boss and I had an acrimonious discussion. At totoo yan, nangyari yan kanina. So, medyo stress ako today. Anyway, if you say plaintive, plaintive, it means same with the other item earlier, uh, the lament, di ba? So, you are sounding very mournful. Okay, or parang sobra yung kalugutan mo. So, ibig sabi, uh, for example, I will say, uh, he wrote the a plaintive book. So, sobrang mournful, okay? It's the same with lament. Ang hairy, yun na nga. <laughs> okay, so here, of course, it's not the answer. Of course, our correct answer, you are all correct. So, it's letter. Okay, it's, uh, let me see. All right, that's correct. You're all correct. Letter E, votive. So, um, it's like, uh, because there are many ways, like, of course, for children, you have pinky promises. There are some things as well that we seal through doing a vow, okay? So, here, exchange of votive rings. Yan yung nagsisimbolize na they will never break kung ano man yung mga, okay, pangako nila when they get married, okay? So, votive, okay, something that is sealed by a vow or through vows, Sana all. Sino na ang may engagement ring or wedding ring dito? Congratulations. Let's proceed with number 60. Kim was blank in choosing her friends. So her parties were attended by vastly different and sometimes bizarre personalities. Is it indispensable, indiscriminate, commensurate, propulsive, or indisputable? Comment your answers. Okay, very well. So I think this is not very hard. So, kasi nakikita natin dito, context clue natin, vastly different, iba-iba. Kasi if you are, if you like discriminate, or if you are someone who discriminates often, yung pinipraise mo lang yung mga katulad mo. Alright? So for example, kapag... Mayaman ka, gusto mo mayaman rin lahat ng friends mo at ayaw mo sumang mahirap. If you have a white skin, so you only go along with people who have white skin as well because you think na you're better than them because you have white skin. Kapag maganda ka, maganda lang, lin, lang rin lahat ng, okay, ina-appreciate mo. You feel like you're better just because you're like that. So Kim, however, was not like that. So sometimes, okay, there are bizarre personalities, no? Talagang, if you say bizarre, it's strange. Attending her parties. So, ibig sabihin nun, she is indiscriminate. That's letter B. That's the answer, okay? So here, that's probably research. Or you can correct me if I'm wrong. All right, so. Sip nayan is math. Okay, sip nayan is math. Which is correct. Kasi, kasi ako, education graduate ako. I'm currently having my master's. And yung Philippines talaga, behind tayo. So reading, sciences, math, uh, technology, yung literacy ng ating mga graduates. So behind tayo sa ranking with other countries, which is really sad. Kaya we are, yeah, they are trying to focus more. Itong mga, yeah, very, or they're giving like intensive, I think sa K-12, intensive studies for these subjects. All right, SIP Nayan again is math. Okay, that's letter B, Matematica. Next one. Okay, balik na tayo sa English. Thank you, Lord. Sana yun lang yung Tagalog. 
<laughs> so, Joey is angry at that guy who bamboozled him into investing in a non-existent business. Is it loved, duped, immoral, amoral, or honest? So here, okay, what do we mean by the word bamboozled? Comment your answers. So dito, I think we are looking for synonyms if I try to understand. So if you say, kung hindi mo alam anong bambuzo, then that's quite tough. Pero, malalaman mo naman through context clues na nag-invest siya into a non-existing -exist business. So ibig sabihin, na-trick siya or na-deceive siya, di ba? So, of course, it's not loved, lalong hindi honest. So we are left with immoral, amoral, or duped, but our correct answer is duped, okay? So ibig sabihin ng dupe is uh, na trick ka. So for example, I will say, um, I, I duped my mother into giving me more allowance. So yeah, you tricked them, okay? So again, number 68, bamboozle. Ano bang, nasan ba yung, mm, wala namang pronunciation. Bamboozled or bamboozled? Bamboozled. Anyway, yun na yun. So, correct answer is letter B. Next one. So, the... Ac oh my gosh, how to read this one? Became very became a very successful lawyer. What do you think is the answer? Acqui... Acquiescent. <laughs> Acquiescent. Acquiescent. Hindi naman. Yeah, yun nga. Tama nga. Acquiescent. Girl became, ver became a very successful lawyer. Is it complaint, illegal, reliable, upright, or trustworthy? Comment your answers. All right. This one we don't use very often. No? This one we don't use very often. So if you say acquiescent or, okay, the correct answer is compliant, it means, um, okay, kind of similar with the word submissive. Okay, but yung submissive kasi is you, you give everything. So here naman, tinatanggap mo lahat na walang reklamo. Okay? Walang reklamo. So for example, I will say, um, the, the new team was very acquiescent of the tasks. So, acquiescent means sabihin, tinanggap nila lahat ng pinapatrabaho sa kanila. Na walang, yeah, walang complaints. So, very compliant. Okay? That is, kaya nga siguro naging successful lawyer siya. Kasi hindi siya mareklamo, right? Whatever the task, ginagawa niya lang. I know a lot of people that are like that. And yes, successful sila. So, in Visaya, yeah. Anyway, I don't want to talk about it. So, let's proceed with number 70. The dark clouds portend an upcoming rain. Is it soothe, signify, pretend, no, or contract? I think this is not a very hard one. Comment your answers. So, sometimes, ganito talaga kapag makulimlim. So, we already believe that it's gonna rain. Or, in other words, okay, naka-indicate siya na all right, it's about the rain. Kapag naka-indicate, another word niya is <laughs> signify. Akala ko for compliance na. <laughs> okay. So anyway, the dark clouds signify. The dark clouds indicate or the dark clouds portend an upcoming rain. So kahit hindi natin alam yung portend, if we already understand the sentence, so identify natin na, yeah, it's signify, diba? So our correct answer is letter, okay, it's letter B. Let's see, Nguyen. All right, so let's continue. Okay, so dito naman, we are looking for the closest meaning. So still meaning or possibly kasi isang words lang yung options, synonyms, okay? So number 71, it is imperative that we finish this before the deadline. Is it an important rule, commanding, or vital? Napaka OA ng commanding. <laughs> Very British, commanding. So comment your answers. If you say imperative, that is a priority. Mm -hmm. 
a priority or very crucial. It means it is all right. So, kasi kailangan dapat na matapos before the deadline. It is vital. Okay, vital. Vital means important. Okay. So instead of also actually maganda din yan para palaging para maganda naman pakinggan ng yung English. So instead of saying just important, you can say vital or ibig sabihin absolutely necessary. Okay? Vital. Pwede din namang full of energy but very often ginagamit natin yung vital when it's very important. Now. So, let's have number okay, 72. The golden rule of the quintessence of good moral conduct is it vitality lifeblood fundamental element or epitome comment your answers quintessence ang ganda ng word pwede mo siyang i-theme sa iyong ano kasal <laughs> or sa iyong birthday party so this is all right. Is it vitality? Okay. Again, full of energy, lifeblood. Okay. Fundamental, the basics. So, correct answer natin dito is actually epitome. Okay. Epitome. So, if you hear. Okay. Let me see. So, epitome. Um. Kaya nga, palagi nating naririnig yung example na. She is yeah, the epitome of beauty. So, ibig sabihin siya yung standard, di ba? So, kapag ikaw yung standard, ibig sabihin, ikaw yung, ikaw yung pinaka the best or close to perfect. So, it's the same with, yeah, quintessence, okay? So, it's like almost perfection, okay? Or ikaw yung pinaka perfect na example dyan quintessence. So, for example, sasabihin kong, you are the quintessence of a very excellent student. So, ikaw yung perfect example, okay? Ikaw yung very close sa kung anong perfection. The same with epitome or quintessence. So, quintessence again, epitome, okay? It's letter E, exactly. Next one, number 73, the general is euphoric because the war is finally done. Is it despairing? I think this is not very hard. We need this one often. Despairing, dominant, weary, and inconsolable or ecstatic. Comment your answers. Uh, let me see your comments. I'm also checking the live. So correct, okay, very well. So correct answer natin is, let me see, hala, ano nangyari sa akin phone? All right, all right, ecstatic. So if you can see, um, the war was finally done. There is a sense of relief there. There is a sense of relief there. Kaya na, okay, he was euphoric. So actually, it's from the word, Euphoria, yung noun niya. So it means you are the, you are in the extremity of happiness and pleasure and excitement. Euphoria, okay? So you bring me my, or being with you brings me my euphoria. So ibig sabihin, kapag kasama kita, I'm just really happy, I'm just really excited. So it's the same with, okay, how the general is feeling. He's super ecstatic. All right, next one. He was welcomed with exaltation when he arrived in his town. Exaltation. Is it glory, bliss, bullying, rapture, or outcast? The rest of the options are... Meron lang talaga isa dito na naiiba. Because the rest of the options... May dalawa pa lang, may iba. Okay, because the rest are quite negative. But anyway, comment your answers. Okay, it's 
glory. Okay? So, exaltation. Exaltation is glory. So, okay, let me look up to it. I think I met this word in, oh, Captain, my Captain, na poem, ni Walt Whitman. So, there's the word there, exaltation. So, ibig sabihin, okay, a certain someone. Okay. Lalo na if you are, okay, yeah, the state of being exalted. So, you are raised to something, you are raised of someone as important. So, exaltation, glory. Next, Erica is very thankful to the person who subjugated her attacker. Is it digressed, thrilled, subdued, powerful, or frightened? I think the rest of the options are not very rare or not very uncommon. However, what do we mean by the word subjugated? Comment your answers. So, and also, yung maganda dito is the sentences are um, understandable. Diba? So, kapag naintindihan mo rin yung options, then, yeah, it, you're good to go. Okay. So, if you say, okay, that's correct. So, if you say subjugated, okay, you, someone is, or someone or something is within your control. So, naging under, right? <laughs> naging under. So, or yeah, in other words, like, the person became yeah submissive to the person in control, subjugated. So, the latter is, okay, in that term. So, correct answer natin dito is, correct, subdued. So, subdued and subjugated, they are of the same meaning, okay? Ibig sabihin, you bring someone or something under your control. You bring someone or something to be submissive. Ikaw na yung in control. Subdued or subjugated. All right. So, let's proceed with, um, I think, antonyms this time. So, antonyms this time. Kasi yung hinahanap natin is opposite meaning. I'm so sad na meron pala kayo nito. I, I actually have a, a couple of tips, you know, on how to answer synonyms and antonyms. But yeah, anyway, uh, let's just try. We are, we'll bring them out tonight. So, the residents were exhilarated when they heard the news. Is it high, thrilled, irate, sluggish, or frightened? Comment your answers. Mm -mm. So, exhilarated. Ano ba yung opposite niya? Another thing, kaya nga sobrang importante na you read you read the, the instructions correctly kasi nandun yung lahat. So, if you misunderstand at hanapin mo yung synonyms, then patay ka, ba? So, our correct answer is Alright. <laughs> Mamaya na, Mambona. Actually, my, my entire PowerPoint talaga ako eh, in answering synonyms and antonyms. But it's just pretty much the same with the vocabularies. So, correct answer natin dito is, alright. So, sluggish. Sluggish. Sluggish is, okay, walang energy, nang hihina. You are in act. You're inactive. Compared kapag exhilarated ka kasi, you, you are very happy, so high na energy. So if you're sluggish, it's from, I think, insect kasi yung slug. So the word slug, if I'm right, it's an, ah, nandito na. Ano ba tong, pala decision itong aking PC, ah. So if you say slug, para siyang, yeah. Is it a snail ba? So similar ng snail. Sobrang Ano ba yung slow? Yeah, sobrang, hindi siya mabilis gumalaw. Sobrang slow ng speed niya. Anyway, siguro yung natagalan ko dito is yung paghanap ng correct Tagalog term. Kaya tayot ganito. So, sluggish from the word slug na sobrang bagal gumalaw. Sobrang bagal gumalaw ng slug. Kaya dun, okay, we form the word, they form the word sluggish. Okay? So, as to me, in the morning, I am sluggish kasi nag ako ng marami. That's why I wake up early para hindi ako malate. Sluggish. Opposite sa exhilarated. Now, let's try the next one. Rosalie wants a way to mitigate the bad news she's about to tell. 
Is it mollify, harmony, allay, aggravate, or catalyst? Okay. Comment your answers. Ah. So is it? So if you say mitigate, I think I'm not sure if you watch Miss Universe. Kasi na, na, nasagot ito ni Beatrice when, during her time, nung sumali siya doon. Uh, when you like mitigate the spread of the virus, so ibig sabihin, pinapahina mo or you're making something less severe, you mitigate. Now, ano naman yung English kapag pinapagrabe mo? It's aggravate. Wow. Aggravate from aggravating circumstances. Okay. So again, if you say uh, mitigate, you are making something less severe. Okay. Kung ina-aggravate mo naman, you are making something worse or mas pinaseryoso mo. Okay. So, for example, kapag, of course, uh, ngayon, ano bang trend yan. I think it's the African swine fever. So, nandito na lang siya sa Cebu and it's really sad to those uh, people who have like, or, yeah, foreign people, lalo na yung may mga piguri. So, ano ba? Uh, how to mitigate the situation? Of course, you take proper protocols and all. Now, how to aggravate the situation? Okay, so, you do something na mas makakapawers. That's correct. Pinapalala. Thank you so much, guys. I feel like, oh my, at na <laughs> Okay, nandito na. Ang aking ilaw ay hindi na umiilaw. <laughs> Correct answer is letter D. So opposite ng mitigate, it's aggravate. Okay? Next one. Nicole hates mathematics because of its abstruse concepts. Is it heave, control, brittle, understandable, or complex? Comment your answer. Abstruse. Okay, so I think like some people can absolutely relate. Na ayaw nila sa math. So, ibig sabihin dito, mahirap yung concept. Ano ba ang opposite ng mahirap or mahirap intindihin? It's, alright, very well. Letter D, understandable. Okay? So, of course, if you reverse the sentence, pwede mong sabihin na, Let's just say, okay, Nicole loves mathematics because of its understandable concepts. For the same reason that she hates mathematics, because of its, okay, complex, <laughs> okay, or difficult concepts. So, abstruse, mahirap, understandable is understandable. Madaling, maintindihan, okay? Yung mga babae lang yung abstruse there. Next one. Okay, I can't wait for our homemade ice cream to congeal. Oh my gosh, I think mali yung aking pronunciation sa word nito. But anyway, comment down what is the opposite of this word. What is the opposite of the word congeal? So it's... So homemade na ice cream. Ano bang ginagawa natin if we're making, a, uh, if we're making an ice cream? So, syempre, ayoko kung maging green ang lecture nito. So, mm, okay. Of course, pinapa, tigas natin. Kasi matigas naman yung ice cream, di ba? And that's why nilalagay natin siya sa freezer. So, of course, letter B is not the opposite. Kasi yan nga yung meaning to freeze it. So, our correct answer is, okay, the opposite. So, opposite ng congeal, it's to melt. Of course, kakagawa mo lang ng ice cream. <laughs> Alam nga naman, gusto mong mag-melt siya. So, okay, opposite ng... <laughs> yeah, patigas yun. Sabi ni Ma'am Roshineo, sana all matigas yung ice cream. Okay, or freeze it. Okay? That's why. Of course, if you make an ice candy or anything na homemade, okay, congeal or, yeah, freeze it. Now, opposite yun naman is melting. Okay? Other terms nga dito is solidify, harden, congeal, okay? Yes, opposite. Kaya melt yung tamang salot, okay? Next one, her decision to go to Syria during a war is abrupt and irrational. Is it hasty, immediate, 
sudden, foreseen, or curt? Comment your answers. Again, we are looking for the opposite meaning of the underlined word. Or, yeah, yung antonym niya. So, what do you think? All right. I don't use the word curt very often. Ah, okay, that's why. No beating around the bush pala yung curt. It's blunt. So, correct answer natin dito is, kapag sabihin mo kasing updrop, it's, it's very unexpected. Diba? Hindi mo nakikita that it's coming. If you say foreseen, nakikita mo na that it's coming. Diba? So, katulad ng iyong, diba, jowa, alam mo naman nasasaktan ka, pero tinuloy-tuloy mo pa rin. So, that, that's foreseen. Hindi na siya sudden. Okay, you were expecting it. So, again, abrupt is unexpected. Opposite naman ng unexpected is foreseen. Alam mo na, it's been predicted. So, correct answer is letter D. All right. So, that's it. Okay, very well. Now, let's move on. We have very few items left. Actually, in fact, lumagpas na ako sa oras. I was just told to do an hour. But anyway, hindi naman to palagi. And malapit na yung exams niyo, di ba? Exam pala. So, one of my friend got drunk last night. No error. This is funny kasi yung blue underlined. <laughs> it means my grammatical error. But anyway, is it one friend drunk night or no error? Comment your answers. Ang gagaling nyo naman. That's true. Walang mali. Actually, mas marami pa yata akong mali, lalo na sa aking Tagalog. Okay. Alam na namin na nasan yung error. Because of the blue underline. And I apologize. It's because I, I did not make the questions. Unlike my yung almost three hours lecture school last week. That I actually yeah, made my own PowerPoint. Dito kasi is binigay lang sa akin. And I was asked to explain. Okay. So guys, kapag gagamit tayo ng one of, yung kasunod niyan is always plural. Okay? Kasi iisa sa mga. Okay. Kaya nga, like I have this guy friend na sobrang specific niya sa grammar na nadi-disappoint siya kapag sasabihin mo one of the boy is so one of the boys one of my friends so yung error dito is letter B okay next number 82 the former have seven oxen is it the have seven oxen or letter E no error comment your answers So, oxen is singular, uh, plural form ng ox. Oxen. Ibig sabihin, this is, um, ano kasi na ba yun? Irregular noun. Kasi nagbabago yung spelling niya. You don't just add S. Nagiging oxen siya. Okay. So, it's just the farmer. The farmer. Kaya, iisa lang. Ano nga yung rule natin? It's, Yung have, it's for plural and first and second person. So plural, tsaka yung I at you. You have, I have, they have. Yung has naman, it's for singular. Yung had, it's for past tense. Kahit na plural, singular, if it's in the past, you use had. Dito, iisa lang yung former, kaya incorrect na sabihin natin had. Next one. These kids are very naughty. Is it these kids are naughty or no error? Comment your answers. Okay, so our answer is, all right, there you go. It's kid. Because these and are. So obviously, we are looking for a plural form. These kids, okay? Yeah. Actually, in this case, you can sometimes be confused. Bakit hindi yung these? Pwede naman siya maging this, di ba? This kid. Kaya lang, uh, nag-coincide kasi yung these tsaka are. So, ibig sabihin, plural talaga yung hinahanap nila. So, yung kid talaga dito yung incorrect. Okay? Yes. Number 84. Noah, together with Nancy and Annika, dance salsa. Which is the error? Is it Noah together and dance? Or letter E, no error. Comment your answers. Hello, good evening. Let me see nga. Sobrang talino nyo, ha? That's really good. 
So you, you've been listening to a lecture for a straight four hours now. I am so proud of you. Okay, paki ulit po ng explanation number 82. Ah, okay. It's probably one of my. So, yes po. Kapag one of my, iisa lang yung, iisa yung nire-refer mo out of those many things. So, for example, marami akong, ano bang marami sa akin? O, libro. So, iisa sa aking mga libro ay, ano, bago. So, hindi mo sabi, I, one of my book is new. Diba? Iisa sa aking isang libro. It doesn't make sense. If you use one of, dapat plural yung kasunod. So, iis, isa sa aking mga libro ay bago. Isa sa aking mga kaibigan ay sobrang talino. So, ibig sabihin, matalino naman yung iba, but may iisa talaga na sobrang talino. Okay? Anyway, correct answer for number, let's move on, number 84 na tayo. So, yung kama, guys, higaan yun. <laughs> Charot. So, yung kama, you disregard whatever is inside of it. Okay? So, kasi ito kasi together with Nancy and Annika, it's what we call a positive. So, actually, they're not important. So, yung nare-refer lang natin dito is si Noah, which means Noah is alone. Okay? Noah dances salsa. Okay? I, like, I think I've used this example so many times last week. Yung... Um, oh, the captain, along with along with his dogs, walk walk in the park. So you will think na okay, yung captain meron pang dogs. Siguro marami sila. But kasi nasa inside ng kama, it's a positive. So you disregard that. Okay, that's just a bait for you to choose the wrong answer. So Noah, together with Nancy and Annika, dances salsa. Yung highlight lang dito is yung si Noah. Bakit hindi sila kasama? Because if we include them, dapat sana yung sentence is Noah, Nancy, and Annika dance salsa. Yan okay na, plural na. Tatlo na sila yung include But dito, yung highlight lang is the first one. Yung nasa labas ng kama. Okay. <laughs> nice one. Ah, natawa kayo sa joke ko. So correct answer is letter D. Dance is the incorrect one. Next one. 85. There is only one criteria for this contest. Which is the error? Is it is one criteria contest or letter E? No error. Comment your answer. Mm -mm. Mom, may naka blue. <laughs> so, alam na namin kung nasan yung error. <laughs> Sana ganito na lang <laughs> palagi. Anyway, I'm actually a bit downhearted kasi let last sat sunday and of course i held my own final coaching and then yun yeah walang lumabas wala masyadong lumabas in the lecture ko only the concepts that i've taught them so it's a bit sad anyway i'll try again next time i'll do better na yeah okay very well my sumagot ng tama so dito it's only one it's only one so Yung singular form ng criteria, it's criterion. Okay? Let me see nga. Okay. So again, yung singular form ng criteria, it's, okay, criterion. Uh -uh. So nasa na yung sobrang dami kong window sa so naka-open. Yes, exactly. Sir Michael. So, oy, nandito pala kayong lahat. That's good. So, there is only one criterion for this contest, okay? So, lang naman sabihin mo, I have only one boyfriend. So, of course, it's correct. It's incorrect kasi iisa nga lang. So, dapat singular yung nakasunod. I have only one boyfriend, okay? There is only one criterion. Kaya nga, it's also really good na alam mo kung ano yung regular at irregular nouns. So, for example, yung yeah, kanina sa oxen. Hindi mo alam kung ano yung oxen. Hindi natin alam na plural pala yun ng ox, di ba? Tapos sabihin, there is only one oxen. So, it will sound correct if hindi mo alam yung meaning. Ah, okay, siguro iisa lang yung oxen. But oxen is the plural form of an ox. So, it's wrong na. Okay? Anyway, correct answer is letter C. Next one. 
the guy which runs every day is my friend. Which is the error? Is it which runs is friend or letter E? No error. Comment your answers. Ito, this is a bit challenging. Yeah. Medjo. <laughs> but I'm sure naman you can still find the correct answer. Okay. <laughs> That's right. It's letter A. Napaka harsh naman ng witch. Ano ta uh, ano bagay ba? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so our correct answer, okay, should be a word that is addressing a person. So the guy who runs every day is my friend, okay? The guy who runs every day is my friend. So yes, Mom Giselle, you know that. Next one, Noel was bored, so he went on an adventure. Is it was, bored, went, adventure, or letter E, no error? Comment your answers. Sana all si Noel, no? Pag bored, pupunta lang ng adventure. Ako kapag bored, ako no choice. <laughs> okay. Correct answer is... Oh, what about the others? Yung iba, wag lang manood. Zumagot din. <laughs> Okay, walang error dyan. Okay, Noel was bored, so he went. So, past tense naman yung lahat. No error. Okay, parang mga babae, walang pagkakamali. Okay, number, or walang mali. <laughs> number 88. Is this, anong basa nyo dito? Is it ayan or iyan? Anyway, if it's a name kasi, always remember guys, ha? kapag pangalan kasi, walang tamang pronunciation yan. Nakadepende yan sa may-ari kung anong gusto niya, okay? So, Ayan likes ice cream very much, which is the error. Is it Ayan likes cream much or letter E, no error? Comment your answer. Masarap din naman talaga yung ice cream if it's summer. Ako once a year, nakakabili din ako ng Magnum. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Kasi sobrang mahal. So once a year ko lang siya kinakain. Alright, so there is no error. So Ayan or Ian likes ice cream very much. Likes. Likes. Kasi iisa lang si Ayan. Okay? <laughs> Ewan ko kay Ayan. <laughs> okay, so this is not very long anymore. And we will also just discuss them one way. Unlike... Last week, na meron talaga akong tips and rationalizations. So anyway, let's just read first. Um, I will read this in a very comprehensive way. So everyone, let's all go together. This is the best practice for your analysis. So keep up. An ecosystem is a group of animals and plants living in a specific region and interacting with one another and with their physical environment. Ecosystems include physical and chemical components, such as soils, water, and nutrients nutrients that support the organisms living there. These organisms may range from large animals to microscopic bacteria. Ecosystems, ecosystems can also be also can be thought of as interactions among all organisms in a given habitat. For instance, or for example, one of the species may serve as food for another. People are part of the ecosystems where they live and work. Human activities can harm and destroy local ecosystems unless actions such as land development for housing or businesses are carefully planned to conserve and sustain the ecology of the area. An important part of ecosystem management involves finding ways to protect and enhance economic and social well-being while protecting local ecosystems. So now... First one, let's look for the main idea. Ano ba yung pinaka centro? <laughs> yeah, ito yung technique ko, guys. Read the first time. Kaya lang, oh, hindi kasi to actual exam. And marami tayo dito. I can't just read the first question directly. Okay, so yung main idea is it letter A? An ecosystem is a community that includes animals, plants, and microscopic bacteria. It's acceptable, okay naman, pero remember na may ibang topic doon na diniscuss, okay? 
Letter B, human activities can do great damage to local ecosystems, so human communities should be cautiously planned. Mm, this is acceptable. Letter C, in managing the ecology of an area, it is important to protect both human interests and the interests of other members of local ecosystems. Or letter D, people should remember that they are part of the ecosystem where they live and work. So I think we can probably remove letters A and D, the ba? Kasi it's only considering one part. So hinahanap natin yung main idea, dapat, okay, generalize natin yung, okay, statement. So our correct answer is, okay, letter C. So dapat, while as human beings, tayo yung rational, tayo, tayo yung may isip, it's good that we are pursuing technology and the advancement and AIs and so on. Pero we also have to keep in mind na hindi lang tayo nakatira dito. May mga multo. Charot. So, there are also animals and microorganisms na, of course, there are plants and trees, di ba? So, we're not the only ones. So, we should also take care of them. Kaya nga, when you're developing land for housing or businesses, dapat siyang planuhin kasi hindi lang tayo yung nakatira dito. Okay? So, the main idea is letter C. Exactly. Sobrang talino niyo naman sa reading comprehension. Good. Let's proceed with question number 92. Which of the following best sums up activities within an ecosystem? Is it predator-prey relationships? Interactions among all members? Human-animal interactions or human relationship with the environment. I think we can probably remove letter D. Kasi sobra naman, yung human relationship lang with the environment. What about the animals? What about the insects? What about the snakes that some of the people are? <laughs> Charot, I don't know any. Okay, final answer. <laughs> si Mambo na talaga, ma'am, yung tips. Hanapin ko ha, hindi ka nagmamadali. <laughs> <laughs> Sobrang dami ko ng PPT. Saan ko ba yun mahanap? <laughs> it's just the same with vocabulary. Context clues. Okay. <laughs> if you want to stay, total, iniwan na naman. Charot, hindi ako iniwan. But not everyone stays. So if you want to stay, we can talk about the bit of tips, okay? Sa paghahanap ng synonyms and antonyms. So this topic kasi was not given to me. So hindi ko na lang rin siya sinali last week. Anyway, correct answer is, all right, letter B is the final answer. So, interaction among all members. Kasi lahat naman tayo ay nakatira in one ecosystem. So, it's really good na, okay, nagkakaintindihan tayo. Or, dahil tayo lang nakakaintindi, we are also empathetic sa, or we should also sympathize na hindi lang tayo yung nakatira dito. Okay, so that is it. Next one, item number, sobrang lakas ng aking internet, no? Para mahanap ko sana yung aking PowerPoint. Anyway, number 93, an ecosystem can most accurately be defined as a geographical area, a community, a habitat, or a protected environment. Comment your answer. Okay. Ay, may hugot daw. <laughs> hindi naman, hindi po tayo nakahugot. Ay, naku, mami, na nga, Mambo, na eh. Ah, nandito, oy, nandito, oy. Ay, nahanap ko siya. Mm, magaling. Ano ba yung tips ko dito? Yeah, actually, I can include this one if you want. Um, and this is not too long. But yeah, anyway, it's just the same items. Not much, oi. Nah, it's not. It's it's nothing much. I've just had a couple of practices for antonyms and synonyms. For antonyms, lang, you have to or how to identify. Meron kasi iba ibang klaseng antonyms. But okay, I will include that one later. But for now, the correct answer is community. From the from number ninety two, you interact with the other members. Okay, so interaction, the connection, relationship with the other members. Okay, you are developing or you are having a community. Hindi lang siya tirahan, okay? Na, okay, 
which is anong pinapa labas ng geographical area, habitat, or protected environment. It's not only that, okay? So, an ecosystem is also a community, okay? With the interaction of all the living things there, not only human. Okay, so let's proceed with, I think, the last selection. Ah, hindi pa pala. Second to the last. Now, let's proceed. So, one of the most hazardous conditions of a fire a firefighter will ever encounter is a backdraft also known as a smoke explosion a backdraft can occur in the hot smoldering phase of a fire when burning is incomplete and there is not enough oxygen to sustain the fire unburned carbon particles and other flammable products combined with the intense heat may cause instantaneous combustion if more oxygen reaches the fire. Firefighters should be aware of the conditions that indicate the possibility for a backdraft to occur. When there is a lack of oxygen during the fire, the smoke becomes filled with carbon dioxide or carbon monoxide and turns dense gray or black. Other warning signs of a potential backdraft are little or no visible flames. Ah, kaya pala. Excessive heat, smoke leaving the building in puffs and muffed sounds, and smoke-stained windows. Proper ventilation will make a backdraft less likely. Opening a room or building at the highest point allows heated gases and smoke to be released gradually. However, Suddenly breaking a window or opening a door is a mistake because it allows oxygen to rush in, causing an explosion. Ah, ang hirap pala, no? Yung mga unexpected na sobrang gabi na smoke. Wow. So anyway, so a backdraft is a dangerous condition for firefighters mainly because... There is not enough oxygen for breathing. The heat is extremely intense. The smoke is dangerously thick or an explosion occurs. Nasa fire officer exam daw ito. Ah, okay. Okay. Alin ba dito yung, yeah. Actually, lahat naman sila is, is part kung bakit dangerous. Of course, kapag sobra yung usok, you don't have enough energy. Yung heat, it's intense. Yung smoke, it's thick. So kapag thick yung smoke, wala kang energy. I mean, wala kang oxygen. <laughs> and it's, yeah, yung heat naman is too much. Or an explosion may occur. So correct answer is, oh, someone is an FOE passer. Congratulations. That was the first time I lectured for Sir Jerome's group. Fire officer. Tapos, so that, lahat sila lalaki doon. Mostly, ha, mostly. And I asked them, like, okay, guys, do you like reading? Sinagot ako ng, I like reading your smile. <laughs> I like reading you, ma'am. <laughs> All right, correct answer is letter D, okay? So we are looking for the main reason why this is dangerous. So it means, or the answer is letter D, an explosion occurs. Next one. Which of the following is not mentioned as a potential backdraft warning sign? Sir Kirk. Knock, knock. <laughs> no, wala na. Babas. I thank you so much, Sir Kirk. Pagpasensyahan niyo na ako ngayong araw. <laughs> okay. So, not mentioned as a potential backdraft. So, read the question properly, okay? Someone is crying behind me. Uh, windows are stained with smoke. Flames shooting up from the building, puffs of smoke leaving the building, more intense heat than usual. Comment your answers. All right, I think the noise is bearable now. So, um, correct answer natin dito is hindi na mention is yung flames shooting up from the building. So, of course, there are puffs of smoke leaving the building, but from whichever part, diba? So, grabe naman yung flames shooting up. So, 
Kasi yung backdraft, it's it's a thick smoke, the ba, that may cause an explosion. So, of course, there was no flames mentioned there because it will be otherwise, okay? So, windows are stained, there are puffs of smoke, there is more intense heat than usual, but hindi na mention yung may apoy na talaga. So, it's letter B. Oh, wow. Okay, marami palang FOA passers. And I think Napocom too, right? So, next target niya naman, civil service. That's nice. Good for you guys. I'm so proud. Ganda niya. Napaka gusto niyong mag-exam. <laughs> Number 96. To prevent the possibility of a backdraft, a firefighter should carry an oxygen tank, open a door to allow gases to escape, make an opening at the top of the building, or break a window to release carbon particles. Comment your answers. Alin ba dito? Let me see. Naku, magdadalawang oras talaga yung lecture ko. Bakit ako ganito? Ah, uh, correct answer is... Alright. Yeah, it's letter. So, final lang yung sagot nyo. Okay. So, you are trying to prevent possibility of a backdraft, diba? ba? So if you carry an oxygen tank, I don't think it will help. If you open a door, it is extremely dangerous kasi agad-agad na pagpasok ng oxygen. So yung, yeah, paglabas naman ng other particles, it's also abrupt. So no, it's not good. If you break a window, it's the same situation with letter B. So our only option is, okay, opening at the top of the building. So that you will, yeah, yung konti konti is na re release mo yung carbon particles. Ay nako, iba talaga yung aking knowledge. Alam, parang knowledgeable. No? But, you know, just trying to understand the passage and you're able to answer it well. So, sabi ni Kirk, if you make an opening at the top, so it is a type of ventilation. Thank you. Number 97. When compared with a hot smoldering fire, a fire with visible high reaching flames, has more oxygen available for combustion, has more carbon dioxide available for consumption, produces more dense gray smoke, or letter D, is more likely to cause a backdraft. Comment your answers. Ano ba kapag? Okay. Sobra yung apoy. It's, hello, Ma'am Leia. Kasi hindi ko mabasa yung pangalan niyo, eh. nakakainis. Okay, we have Mel D, Ranzi, Raymond, let me enter the live once more. Kung sino-sino lang yung in-mention ko. Um, at hindi pa rin tama ang aking napasukan. So nag-math. Ay, naku, hindi rin ito tama. Wala, hindi ko makita ang aking live. Oy. Ay, nawala na nga. Well, anyway, what can I do? Huwag na natin ipilit. Okay, we have... Gemini, hello. So the correct answer is letter A. You're right. So, okay. A hot smoldering fire. Kung, kung i-compare mo siya, if you have a fire naman with visible high-reaching flames, it has more oxygen available for combustion. So kaya pala when we are, of course, yung sa campfire, mas malakas yung apoy kasi it's in, it's an, in an open area. So that's why pala. Right? It has more oxygen available for it to burn. That's number 97, letter A. Okay, so, sabi dito? Ah, okay. All right, so that's it. Now, let's proceed with the last one. Okay, so this time it's about... Wow, ano yung interest, interest na nababasa ko? Okay. The human body can only tolerate a small range of temperature, especially when the person is engaged in vigorous activity. Heat reactions usually occur when large amounts of water or salt are lost through excessive sweating following strenuous exercise. When the body becomes overheated and cannot eliminate the excess heat, heat exhaustion and heat stroke are possible. <gasps> Ay, talaga? Heat exhaustion is generally characterized by clammy skin, fatigue, nausea, dizziness, profuse perspiration, 
and sometimes fainting yung mahimatay, resulting from an inadequate intake of water and the loss of fluids. <gasps> First aid treatment for this condition includes having the victim lie down, raising the feet 8 to 12 inches, add it to pala, applying cool, wet cloths to the skin, and giving the victim sips of salt water. One teaspoon for glass, half a glass every 15 minutes. Oh, over a one hour period. So, hindi siya maganda if like a lot of water directly. Next. Heat stroke is much more serious. It is an immediate life-threatening situation. The characteristics of a heat stroke are highly are, are high body temperature, which may reach 106 Fahrenheit or more. Wow. A rapid pulse, hot, dry skin, and a blocked sweating me mechanism. Victims of this condition may be unconscious, and first aid measures should be directly at quickly cooling the body. The victim should be placed in a tub of cold water or repeatedly punched with cool water until his or her temperature is sufficiently lowered. Fans or air conditioners will also help the cooling process. Care should be taken, however, not to overchill the victim once temperature is below 102 Fahrenheit. Wow! So, sobrang dangerous, no? I think because, you know, in, like in Japan, yung summer sa kanay sobrang init and a lot of people actually die from heat stroke. Anyway, the most immediate concern of a person tending to a victim of heat stroke should be, so if you are someone and nandyan, tapos merong na heat stroke, ano yung priority mo? Is it get salt into the victim's body, raise the victim's feet, lower the victim's pulse or lower the victim's temperature comment your answers kasi of course from the idea na nahi heat stroke yung tao ibig sabi kasi in the first sentence pa lang we can only take so much heat in our body hindi natin kaya yung sobra that's why your first concern your priority mo if you happen to be in a situation you do your best to lower the victim's body temperature. Okay? So, ano yun? You can, you can put them in a tub. Pwede kang mag-sponge na. Yeah, water or ice around their body. So, uh, yung fan or air conditioner can also help. Okay? Paano naman yung mainitin yung ulo, ma'am? Ako hindi. Tinatawa ko na lang. Mainitin din yung ulo ko. Lalo na when people keep me waiting. But tinatawa ko na lang. No choice. <laughs> for, the, for that, wala tayong gamot. But here, again, priority is letter D. Okay? Kasi nga, okay, na heat stroke na yung tao. So you lower the victim's temperature. Next, which of the following is a symptom of heat exhaustion? Is it unconsciousness, profuse sweating, hot, dry skin, or a weak pulse comment your answers so dito we're asking about heat exhaustion i'm sure familiar tayo sa lahat but na, napag-usapan din natin yung heat stroke di ba so kaya nga it's really important na magaling yung ating reading comprehension so are we able to differentiate ba yung heat exhaustion saka heat stroke alin ba dito yung para sa heat stroke Alin ba dito yung para sa heat exhaustion? So, correct answer is actually letter B. So, it is also mentioned in the paragraph. So, kaya nga yung uh, another tip ko for reading comprehension, you read the questions first. Lalo na pag wala ka ng time. Because if you read par in the entire paragraph at wala ka ng time, nagpapanik ka na here, wala ka pa rin maintindihan. So, you read it again. Eh, sayang oras. So, read the questions first para alam mong iyong hinahanap. Okay? So, correct answer is letter B. So, yung unconsciousness, hot, dry skin naman, they are for heat stroke. Okay? We're talking about heat exhaustion. Next one. Oh, this is the last one. Heat stroke is more serious than heat exhaustion because heat stroke victims do not sweat have no salt in their bodies, cannot take in water, or have frequent fainting spells. Comment your answers. Alin dito yung mentioned? So it's it's really important na 
okay, they're able to release the heat or temperature through the sweat. Ano yung Tagalog ng sweat? In Bisaya, guys, it's singot. Yung Tagalog is pawis. Ah, apakabobo ko talaga. Pawis. <laughs> so, kaya nga, mas malala yung heat stroke. It's because hindi pinagpapawisan yung victims. And <laughs> talaga, do not wet. Do not sweat. <laughs> so, hindi pinagpapawisan. You have, you have no other way to release that heat inside your body. Okay? Ah, Balhas in Waray, Lingit in Ilocano. Thank you so much, guys. Pawis in Tagalog, it's singot in, Bis singot in Bisaya. So, anyway, correct answer natin is letter A. So, it mentioned there that heat stroke victims, ano yun? They blocked the sweating mechanism. So, ibig sabihin, they blocked. Hindi sila pinagpapawisan. They do not sweat because the sweating mechanism is blocked. That's another way if you are, uh, kaya nga reading comprehension side. Like, not everything mentioned in a paragraph, ibig mention yan sa question. Minsan yung question, yung words, they will use different terms. If they rephrase nila or they will use synonyms. And it will be entirely different. So you we, you should be able to understand, okay? So block the sweating mechanism. Ibig sabihin, they do not sweat. Okay, so the answer is letter A. All right, first aid, Magnum. No, oh, ice cream, that's right. So anyway, thank you so much, guys. I think I will see you last time this Friday. Kasi I have a schedule. Actually, akala ko talaga Friday lang. Yeah, this Wednesday lecture is a surprise. But I'm so glad to see you again. And I'm not sure if you have another lecture after, but anyway, I'd leave it up to Sir Kurt. So thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Sir Kurt, thank you so much, sir. Sorry na ikaw pa yung nag-share ng slides. I mean, ng questions. Okay, sorry. Pag nasa Cebu kayo, message niyo ako. Kain tayo magnum. Thank you. God bless. Oh, last words go Friday na. Okay? Bye! <laughs>